Alright, looks like a trick. Oh yeah, we're in, we're in men in black right now. I wonder if they're gonna have it activated. <laughs> yeah, so like all these doors, all these doors over here have, <laughs> all these doors have like different, um, different little things you can do. <laughs> All these little doors have like little things you can do, and it's like a little fun, like while you wait in line. But there's no lines anymore. Oh, by the way, we're at Men in Black. We're in HQ of Men in Black. How cool is this? And just like every other ride, they have all these little please stand just in case a lion forms. This is new. They have this is glass. This used to be a cage full of weapons. We just got off of Men in Black, and I beat Fane with my score, which is the first time that's happened. So that was awesome. And we are headed over to the mummy, finally! It's definitely getting hotter. <laughs> it's like a sauna under my mask. Zane, how's the humidity for you? Yeah, like I'm straight up sweating. I'll react if I had to, put some things in the past to, and don't let them distract you, but react if you have to. Yeah. I'll react if I had to, put some things in the past to, and don't let them distract you, but react if just stopped into one of the rest areas where you can take your mask off and <sighs> it's the best feeling in the world it really is they have like areas down here where um you can like sit down and eat and then there's a water display going on right now and it's just it's actually a really big area all right we are headed to the mummy round two hopefully we can get on this time so we just got off the mummy, but I noticed one thing. They ha do have hand sanitizer on the like around the park, but it seems to be hidden. Like when we were on Men in Black, you come down the ramp to go see your photos, and it's like on the wall that you would never see. Yeah, it's not in an obvious place like it should be, honestly. Not at all. So it seems like a little weird. Like why would you put this here? Like the wall is completely empty. You can put it in the middle where people see it, but they put it like right behind a corner so you couldn't see it. So it's kind of weird. Yeah. And I don't see a lot of like hand sanitizers like getting off a ride. There's only when you're about to get on. No, I did hear like oh everywhere you go there's gonna be hand sanitizer. You don't need to bring any, but I would say bring your own. Yes, because you have some in the backpack. Yeah, because I don't really see a lot of it honestly like on the rides and stuff but it is really quiet and, and there's not a lot of people here but the mummy was freaking awesome that's my favorite ride it is yeah it's so dope <laughs> it's so much better than the one in um in la some of the wait times for these rides have been better than others but honestly compared to how it normally is it's been a breeze like most of them we've done the virtual a reservation on our phones we did it for the mummy as well but it was a bit of a wait i would say we waited like what, do you think like 20 minutes? For the mummy, it was probably like one of the longer waits, honestly. I guess, yeah, I guess 20 minutes. It's just not, it's, I don't know, it wasn't really a wait. It's just like the queue was so long. Yeah. When we got closer to the ride, it just really picked up and we got right on. Like it wasn't like a wait for a car or anything. Like it was just quick, but it's just the queue was so long that it felt like we had to wait a little. I think the mummy was definitely the longest wait that we've had so far. Honestly, so far and you know, it's still the middle of the day, but I recommend it. I feel like everyone who's gonna come is like here by now like the crowds there aren't really crowds it's been really great and i am very impressed so far but then again we'll see at islands tomorrow because i've heard that's a different story quick tip for coming here please make sure that you bring extra masks we have like a bag of them because we i personally have already gone through two there's little things that'll happen that you don't realize like earlier i dropped a big blob of hand sanitizer inside of mine <laughs> And I knew it would probably make me like pass out if I was breathing all that in and it was just gonna make it wet So I threw that one away. I also just dropped my current mask on the ground So I put a new one on <laughs> to be sanitary and then Fane broke his first one before we even got into the park So I'm glad we put a bunch of extra masks in our bag definitely needed Otherwise, you're going to have to purchase one in the store because you know, they'll call you out if you're not wearing one As we're walking around the park, I did notice something all the food and drink stands seem to be closed. Like, if you look at, take a look at this. Like, this complete, it's almost completely empty. And it's like that around the park. I don't know why. I feel like maybe because the capacity is down. But it's just weird that, like, a lot of these places are still closed. I have a theory. What? I think it's because of the whole, like, um, you can only really get food virtually. Oh, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. So it's probably, like, you can't order it. That, that. Make, that makes sense, but don't get me wrong, I still like to get like some type of drink or something. Yeah, because the water that we got, like Harry Potter, the, what's it called? The, gilly, kind of water? the, the gilly water? Gilly water is like, of course, regular water. $5. Is that what it normally is anyway? I don't think so. Like on here, 
It says three fifty. Yeah. So. So a Harry Potter world, it's five bucks. <laughs> Shout out to Ben and Jerry's for that clutch Black Lives Matter tweet. Yeah. Eat a real one, yeah. fam. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, coming in. Coming in. Yeah. Flex. I just wanna win. Yeah. L A B B, who we running with? Yeah. Two two three three, I'm on ten again. Yeah. State your name. Big Ben dope on flame. I just switched the lanes. All right, let's see how bad this ride is. Me and Laura have ridden this, tried to ride this ride last time, and we got to the very end to get on the ride, and it stopped and it quit, and we got like a pass to come back, but we never did. I heard this ride is freaking awful though, so I don't know what to expect. But I'm excited because I love fast movies. It's my jam, and it sucks that they didn't do an amazing job with this ride. At least it has like a good soundtrack. Down for what? Thank you. So this ride was kind of interesting because they had to stand in a room and they had like six spots around the room as you got as you guys can see right here so like all the different spots so i think it's really cool and the actor had a mask on too oh yeah i'm finally ready to go see guys that's what i'm talking about you come out of here and a hand sanitizer is right behind the door like there's no way you can see the hand sanitizer when you come out like you I just didn't obviously see that one. yeah you obviously miss it so that's what i'm saying like why would they put hand sanitizers behind the door after the ride it's very odd. Honestly, that ride, it wasn't bad. I'm a fan of Fast and Furious, so I don't mind it. Something did stand out to me, and it was the proportions of like the characters versus the vehicles and stuff like that kind of threw me off. But all around, like being a Fast fan, I knew what to expect, and I don't think it was actually as bad as people made it seem. No, I thought it was pretty decent. It was like pretty trippy in some parts, but at the end of it, this, uh, this one part at the end, I won't spoil it if you haven't been on it but it hurt my back a little bit. <laughs> I have some lower back issues and it was just like, oh. Would you say it was as intense as the mummy? Um, like that little section? I wouldn't compare it to the mummy. I would compare it to like Jimmy Fallon. Oh, true. Jimmy Fallon, I like Jimmy Fallon a lot better. I'm glad I went on it because now I know it's not actually as bad as people make it seem. I think I'd ride it again. Jap, you can't ignore it. I'm transforming now these cars and planes. I'm always boarding. Just out touring down in Hey, Laura. When I was in London, I saw all this stuff. Here we go. If you guys haven't seen the Harry Potter video from when I went to London in like the actual studio, we'll put a little eye wherever it is. Go check that video out. So these are kind of expensive, the Every Flavor Beans. I haven't had them since I was a kid and I kind of feel like having some fun with them later. <laughs> so. Oh, geez, I'm um, scared. <laughs> but I think we should eat them and see which, not even try to get good ones. I also noticed that none of the roller coasters are riding today, and I'm guessing it's because there's thunderstorms or something in the area. We're walking towards Rip Ride Rocket or whatever, whatever I can't remember the name of that's called, but there's no coasters going out today. It's 2.42. I'm exhausted. <laughs> yeah, for real. I'm so thirsty. Like, I'm glad I had a water bottle in here. Yeah, we just like both chugged water when we got in the car. I had a bottle in the park too, but it's tough, guys, with the mask. It started raining a little more, so we decided it was time to go home. But we hit pretty much every ride we wanted to. I would say, oh, look at that. Look at that defocus on my face, and I can't do anything about it. Anyway, I would just say, like, the masks are cool. Don't get me wrong. They're not bad for, like, the first couple of hours. I mean, we've been there for, what? We got here at 8, like, 6 hours, six and a half, almost 7 hours, and the masks have been a problem. They started becoming a problem yeah. after, like, hour, like, 3. And it was getting warmer too. It was getting warmer, more humid, and it was raining a little harder. So it was just like a lot to deal with. I don't know, like the masks are cool, but it just takes, it takes a lot to get used to. But although overall, like the park isn't bad. I'm glad it's the way it is, honestly, just because there's not a lot of people. Like it's so nice not having so many people just bump into you. That was very true. That was wonderful. Usually parents <laughs> at theme parks are like, like really like don't care about their kids, whatever they do. It was, like, <laughs> it was just such a funny thing to notice that like any kid that would get like too close to us or anything like that they would just like automatically be like oh my god i'm so so sorry <laughs> it was like such a change from just like seeing kids running around being hooligans i wouldn't recommend coming to the park just yet like they still have to figure some things out like the hand sanitizer thing like what i don't get it mostly 
It's it wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. I, I feel pretty safe there, to be honest with you. Like yeah. for a couple hours, you can just go and hang out. It doesn't feel like any worse exposure than like going to your grocery store. Honestly, honestly, I feel like this is safer than going to the grocery store. Yeah, because it was so spread out. Yeah. It, it, but this is very specific to Universal Studios. We don't know yet about islands. But anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any, any questions about Universal or like that we didn't show, let us know in the comments down below. Also, please like and subscribe so that you know when we post and turn on that notification bell because that'll help even more. Yeah, for real. <laughs> but anyway guys, we love you and we'll see you guys next time. Peace. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Fit up. Hop in my car and the giddy up. Get it up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Pick it up. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Fit up. Hop in my car and the giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Ooh.